my first guest tonight from Atonement, Brooklyn, and Lady Bird. She now plays Joe March in Little Women. Look at me. I'm homely and I'm awkward and I I'm love odd. You, Joe. And you'd be ashamed of I me. I love you, Joe. And we would quarrel because we can't help it even now. I'd hate elegant society, you'd hate my scribbling, and we would be unhappy, and we'd wish we hadn't done it, and everything would be horrid. Is there anything more? No, nothing more. All right. Except that... Teddy, I don't believe I will ever marry. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Sir Ronan. <laughs> Stay awake. <laughs> stay awake. I know it's late, but uh, stay awake. I always forget how, how big it is in here and how cold it is. Yeah. Do you want uh, a blanket or something? I well, I saw Helena's interview and she brought a blanket out. She brought her own coat. She brought her own, you know, great coat to lay over her knees. Yeah, yeah. I should have done that. Yeah. I'd also like a cup of tea, but... Like a cup of tea? Yeah. Can we got a cup of tea for that, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, congratulations. This morning you were nominated for a Golden Globe for your patrol of Joe Mark. <laughs> Well deserved. A Thank beautiful, you. beautiful portrait. Really, really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, is your fourth nomination for the Golden Globes, I understand? It is. It is. It is indeed. It is yeah. indeed. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, uh, some people like uh, award shows, you know, and some people find them merely stressful. Do you enjoy them? Have you had fun at these before since you're an old hand at it at this point? I know, yeah. I, ha I have at some of them. Like, I think what I've figured out in the last few years is that it's always more fun if you bring a pal with you. So if you bring somebody and it's not like about, it's not just about you losing. <laughs> because, the, because you go when you're either gonna win or you're gonna, you know, lose and it can very easily Don't feel like that. Yes, yeah. So when I bring like my pal Eileen with me, uh -huh. it's about us you know, having a Prosecco and sure. that's anything else is sort of like an added bonus. If you want to really have fun in an award show, bring your 10-year-old son. Oh my God, did you do I that? I brought my 10-year-old son and we had went through the whole rigmarole and everything and the, the red carpet and the whatever, the interviews, and my son turns to me and he sits down and he goes, you didn't tell me it was fun. <laughs> And suddenly like, it was I fun. Know it was suddenly fun. it was fun. Who was, was, really fun. who was he excited to meet? Because I think kids don't lie, like. Who was he excited to yeah. meet? Was he excited to meet anyone? Or was he like... I think John Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> he who, loves John who Oliver. He your child. <laughs> he just loves John Oliver. He's betrayed me. Is he me. a mini you? Yeah, a little bit. A little, yeah, he a kind little, of has, a actually. A little bit. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> Little Women uh, adapted and directed uh, by the fantastic Greta Gerwig, yes. who also, of course, directed you. <laughs> In Lady Bird in 2017, um, uh, Joe is a, a beloved character. Yeah. I mean, she's an iconic character. Did you always know? Because of several people from Lady Bird are, are, are in this. Did you all, always know you were going to play Joe? Was it a fait accompli? No, I didn't always know I was going to be Joe, but I certainly knew that when Greta was making Little Women, that I had to be Joe and I was very forward with her and I was I had like my Irish voice in my head going don't do it don't pursue just apologize the way we were sort of like oh no if you want to give it to me grand but um but with with this I think because I know her and you know I've grown up with the book as so many people have especially over in America I think is it can... do people read it in in Ireland because every yeah. like everyone in eighth grade every girl in eighth grade or, or seventh grade summer reading yeah. list it's Little Women it's it's Little Women. I don't think it's it's sort of as widespread in Ireland, but I mean, I think everyone really knows about it from like other film adaptions and, mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, and we love it, and so we've all sort of grown up with it. And I, then I think through you know other film versions, we then go, oh, I'm going to go and read the book, and that's sort of how I was introduced to it. So I just sort of went up to her at one of the award shows and um, and tapped her on the shoulder pretty aggressively and I uh, was like turn around you and uh, <laughs> said you know you're doing little women which she knew and um, she knew that 
Yes. Because it's her life. And I and I said, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be Joe March. So if you want to take some time to think about it, fine. But <laughs> <laughs> that I'll be there on September yeah. 1st right. in Concord, Massachusetts. And so and so she said, and she says she didn't say this, but she was like, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> and I was like, oh. and so she took she took like a week. And I was waiting like every day to hear and she finally emailed me and she was like, okay, you can be Joe. <laughs> so, very no, romantic story. I understand, uh, I understand that uh, Greta was pregnant <laughs> through the entire shoot yeah. and you didn't know. None of us knew. None of us knew. How did you not know? We didn't, so, we didn't know because she was just like amazing and like had this incredible like command over the set and we just didn't it didn't even come into our head but also there are ways to tell that a woman is pregnant by the way yeah i don't know if you've had the talk I know. but <laughs> how do how do how are babies made uh -huh. <laughs> um, a firm handshake but, right <laughs> she um so she you know must have done that and she um she <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyway Seven months we later, don't we don't know, we don't know we don't what know. happened, know. but could have been, could have anyway, been immaculate. there's a yes, baby cooking in there, and it was like seven months in, none of us knew, and I looked at her one day, and we were we were doing one of the attic scenes, so we're like on a soundstage, which is not as cold as this, it's very hot on the movie sound stages, and we were in an attic, and there was loads of props, and there's no air, and it's just very, very hot, and I looked at her, and she had like a thick, very thick wool and sort of full length dress with a jumper over the top and then a jacket over the top of that. And she had big boots on and she had tights on and all that. And I was like, what are you, are you not like absolutely melting? And she was like, no, I'm fine. And she was like in agony, you could tell. And it was because she was trying to hide her bump and none of us knew because she just bought like 14 of the same dress and wore it every single day. Wow. So she just had this uniform that she'd wear. Like we, we have your tea right here. Would you like a little? Oh, you actually got me a cup of tea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, there's no milk in it, but <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. he Helen, I got. How do you take your tea? What do you? I mean, a what? Bit of milk. Bit of milk. I have. Do you actually have milk? Purell. I have Purell. <laughs> Tangy. I have Advil. Advil. <laughs> He's I have band-aids and uh, I, have, I, have, I have cough lozenges, if you like. Have, I'll have one of those, actually, because my throat is quite tickly. I'll... Is that going to be annoying while I'm doing the interview? We'll find out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're a choking hazard. <laughs> now, in the movie, as we saw in the clip, uh, you're performing, uh, you're reunited with Timothy Chalamet. Mm -hmm. He broke your heart in Lady Bird. Yeah. You break his heart in this. Was that... Uh, a million pieces. Was that... Here we go. There you are, being all very, very he lovely was very, with each other, very right sad there. In that scene. Was it? Was it feel good to have the emotional upper hand in this one? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, he was due a little heartbreak. He gets a lot of love, Timothy. I needed to bring him back down to earth. Mm -hmm. You also, you also uh, did a scene with Meryl Streep. I did. That is that intimidating or just a? Joy completely, because she's a lovely person. She's personally. so nice, and she's so, uh, you know. Obviously, she's so smart, and she brought so much to this film, like, in scenes that she wasn't even in. There was so much insight that she had into a, a sort of a woman's position, especially during that time. And, and Greta would just sort of write things down, these wise, like, nuggets of, of knowledge that she had. Um, I was grand doing the scene. I kind of kept it together. I think as well because she's got, like, a poodle called Michael the whole time in the scene, so that just sort of, like, got rid of any... Tension. There was just this little fluffy dog that was sort of looking at us all the time. But then as soon as the scene finished and they were checking the gate and we were going to move on to another thing, I remember I was like, oh, cool, yeah, it's a great, great scene, Meryl. <laughs> and then I sort of wandered off and I was like, oh, my God, I got to do a scene with Meryl Streep. And I got, I got really emotional about it. And I just went up to her and, like, tried to, like, hold her and thank her for letting me be an actor or something. I don't know what I said. How did she respond to you attempting to hold her? She was like, space. <laughs> no, I remember saying to her, like, thank you for letting me have this opportunity and letting me do this with you. And, you know, and she, she's always been so lovely to me. Like, I, I met her for the first time with Stanley Tucci when I was about 15. And I remember she just gave me this hug and it was like, everything was just going to be all right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for Thank having you for me. Thank you for the lovely performance of Joe Mark. Congratulations. Thanks for the process. You're welcome. Little Women opens on Christmas. Sir Sharon and everybody. We'll be right back with Tom Brokaw.